Oh, he hit that. Yep. Here's another one. Holy cow, a muskie just came up. I am really excited to finally have my very first real fishing kayak. Now, I've kayaked in a lot of different places in much smaller kayaks, but this is the first time I've ever had a proper setup. This is the Old Town Topwater 120 PDL. I'm just finishing setting it up. Still got a little bit of work to do, but I just want to give you a quick rundown. I had the Malone Wide Track cart underneath this to help support this and carry it from my truck to the lake. Now this Old Town, this is again, this is the Topwater 120 PDL paddle drive. As you can see right there, this easily just drops. You have a storage unit right here to put some stuff in if need be. You also have a little uh, holders right here to stick cell phone or something or whatever you want to fit underneath here for easy access You have the slide tracks on the side for mounting different stuff I got a little ram out here not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but I will have a hummingbird set up on the other side Storage facility right here. This is a nice dry storage Lift this up you can See it's got a lot of room in there. I'll probably be putting my battery and um, Probably putting my battery in there to power the Humminbird and the GoPros. Guess I have a drain plug here, so in case you get a lot of water, you can pull that, tilt it up, drain the water out inside. You have a nice non-slip foam, EVA foam right there. And on the side, you have a nice paddle holder right here. This just flips like that. You can pull it paddle out like that and securely stays in place like this perfect the rod holders nice flush mount rod holders Even another good grip back there a lot of space back here a lot of deep space and wide space to put a rack you can put a big rack in the back I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet now for the rudder turn this to deploy the rudder down and you can adjust the rudder right here there's a tension knob here to how easily you want this to turn you can see as you turn that the rudder turns either way and to bring the rudder back up you just pull this towards you and you'll see it will up and store easily another storage facility behind the seat right here this is a nice storage facility compartment rather waterproof you can see a lot of space underneath here and this easily pops on and off and also easily secures like that it's not going to come open you have an element air seat this is really comfortable and this is going to be great especially when it's hot out a lot of back uh, stability there and i've had back problems and this is going to be very comfortable some of the some of the other kayaks I've been of after fishing in it for a, a few hours my back is just uh, in a lot of pain so this is going to be nice to actually have a, a great seat you want to be comfortable when you're out there fishing the more comfortable the better experience you're going to have and probably the more fish you're going to catch the seat easily comes off through these you pull you pull these pull that knob up pull that knob up and you can slide and adjust the seat forward and back it moves right here and you can also t uh, tension down the seat right here these straps you can unhook it right there I have it I have it strapped down there so nice you know a nice position on the deck your back is going to be in a really good spot
Okay, so this is the first time taking it out. A little bit of wind chop, gonna try to get a walleye. A few walleye, I got, I don't know, maybe two to three hours to go fishing. And maybe a smallmouth bass. We got everything kind of laid out, set up, didn't really, you know, I haven't, I haven't done any modifications to it, I haven't drilled any holes in it. So everything is pretty much just in stock right now. Just got a couple accessories for the slide rack. I still have a lot to, you know, that I want to tweak this thing out and get it set up. I'll set it up a lot, but right now, just kind of keeping it simple right now. Let's see if we can get a fish. that boy you really really popped that right on the drop this one feels feels pretty good let's see what we got it should be a nice walleye I hope that's what I'm hoping I'm just out here on my first trip with the top water 120 PDL and just gonna do a little walleye fishing. Not bad. Here, buddy. Yeah. Not bad. What this one? Just kind of just pop jigging a, a little swim bait and just a little VMC sleek jig. Nice. Little one. Not real big. They get they get pretty pretty big out here, but this one, whoop, easy release. Oh, there's one. Just came over one right there. fish and then I just came over to about 10 feet and dropped back and caught it and that's the nice thing about having a little you know having a even though like a helix a helix five holy cow the muskie just came up Gigantic muskie just came up trying to eat this. Jeez. So I just marked the, this little guy on the, on the uh, Helix 5. And a gigantic muskie. Oh my gosh. The fish was huge. First trip on the water here in the Old Town. 120 PDL, this is the top water model, and it's very stable. You can see I got a little bit of chop out here, but I'm having no problem fishing in this. is extremely stable and just a, a, so far highly, highly impressed. down here underneath me. There. there. And you just kind of, you know, there's these, you have your just big flats and then you just kind of fan cast around them. There's no break, like right here, there's no break in a lot of lakes. You know, where some of the walleye come up and roam, you know, there's no real break. Like, or it just goes, eh, it's not a, another, just nice one. They're fun. I mean, they're, 
And, and the other good thing about, like I'm using here, live bait, is, is you don't have to worry about, or artificials rather, without not throwing live bait, is you don't have to worry about, you know, having a little bait holder here with crawlers, leeches, or keeping minnows alive. You're just using soft plastics. And it's, it's just a lot of fun. You know, just throwing swim, you know, these are basically, you know, just swim baits that, same swim baits I'd use to catch smallmouth. Except I'm just using a, you know, the snap jig. Just snapping it, letting it fall on a slack line, snapping it, letting it fall on a slack line. When it's going down, they'll pop it when it hits, when it hits the bottom, that's when the strikes will happen. So it'll be falling, lands, they come over. They grab it. There. Oh, he hit that. Yep. Felt that. It's like a double hit where the bait comes down, hits the bottom, and then they pick it up like I was saying. Like the same size. Doesn't feel like a monster. But it's fun. I like it a lot better than having to drag live bait around. Let's see the size on this one. Yeah, this might be better. Or maybe it's just bulldogging a little more. Uh, same size. Still a good one. Yeah. That's another nice walleye. Oh yeah, he kind of really inhaled this. You can see. I think I got my life jacket in the way here. Yeah. Nice one. You can see how it's choked that down. Pop that jig out. Let you go. That worked. I said I moved up a little bit shallower, and I don't know as the light's getting a little bit lower. We got a little bit more clouds in the sky, so it kind of came in not real shallow, just kind of the next depth range, throwing up maybe to six feet. And this one doesn't feel huge. Ah, just another nice one. Take that. Take that all day. Yeah, he really chewed it. There. Nice. Oh, this one's tagged. There's tagged walleye. Gotta mark that and then bingo. shakes on this but all of them kind of feel this way oh yeah it's a little this might be the next size this one might be the next kind of year class up those fish really cool when they spike out like that Actually, the next cast, and trying to and not a big one. Trying to get a big one to end the day. Another small one. Hey. So you get a lot of fish. It's nice just on you know, one one bait like this. Yeah, so I'm just looking. I have my hummingbird set up right here. Kind of hanging around 10 feet, and occasionally I'll see 
you know, see some fish in there. This is really nice having this pedal drive. I'm gonna drill some holes so this white, so these cords aren't gonna be hanging out like that. They have a little slot in there. Hold down has a slot here. This I'm gonna have this cord will be running through the hull into there, but you know, this is a first trip out, so I'm just happy to be on the water catching some fish. Nope, the weeds. There, ooh, one hit way out. Most of these, these bites are coming way out there. This one feels, feels pretty good. Oh, you got a fish underneath me right there. But I got one on the line, so. Ah, this one, eh, it feels, they all feel good. And they really pull. I'm using braid with a fluorocarbon leader. Eight pound. I don't know the size. Maybe, maybe this one's a little bigger. Yeah, unless it's a pike. I don't know. Probably not a pike. The way actually weigh the head. This might be a better fish. I think this is. Oh yeah, much better walleye. Check this one out. Look at that one. Look at that one. Oh yeah, about that one for a look at the size of this one. How's that for a kayak walleye? In the mouth just nailed the bait. That's a big fish. That's a really long, really hell post spawn fish. You can see how skinny it is. Still really nice. That's a lot of fun.